Hello, this is Michelle Geomatix showing you how you can use graphics in ArcMap to annotate a map document. I have a map here in ArcMap and I just have a base map loaded. It's the World Street Map base map and I'd like to use annotation to quickly outline some areas on the map. First I'll open the Draw toolbar by right clicking in gray space and checking on Draw. I keep it docked at the bottom. You can dock it anywhere. Here's what the Draw toolbar looks like. One of the tools on the Draw toolbar allows you to draw different shapes. The default shape is a rectangle, but you can change it to any shape. I'll change it to a line. And I'm going to outline some roads. A member on the project team of which I'm a part wants to know which roads I have worked on. Just a rough estimate. So I'm just going to highlight some of these roads where I've been working. And I'm just drawing with the draw toolbar. This is not a feature in my GIS. It's just a graphic that is going to be saved on the map. And you can be as careful as you want or just roughly sketch it out. So there's my first graphic. Now if I want to change any of the properties of this graphic, I can double click it on the graphic itself and I can change its color to something that will stand out a little more as well as the width of the line. And you have all the different symbols that you can use in ArcMap to choose from here. So there's my graphic. If I want to also draw a rectangle, I can just change my geometry type draw a rectangle or a polygon or any of the things you see here. Let's try a polygon and I'm just basically going to show that I've driven on all of these roads out here. So I'm just going to capture them with a quick outline of where I've been. Double click to finish and if I want to change that symbology again I'll just double click and I can make it so that the fill color is hollow, no color, and make the outline whatever color I want. So you have options similar to when you're working with features in ArcMap, but these just happen to be graphics. You can even add text. So I'll add some text in here. I'll just put my name to show that I've driven here. And again, if I want to change anything, I can just double click change the symbol. I'll change the color to be similar to what the feature is. I'm going to make the size much bigger and I'll make it bold. So there's no mistaking who's done this driving. So you have a lot of options to work with on this draw toolbar. Each of these tools has a lot of drop downs for different geometries, and different text and you even have tools to work with the font color, the fill color and some of the properties that I've been accessing just by double clicking. When I save my map document these graphics are going to be saved in there. So at this point if you wanted to send this map document to somebody who has ArcMap available to them there's nothing in here that they wouldn't be able to open. The base map is coming from ArcGIS Online and the graphics are saved in the map document itself. However, you can also come into File and export the map to make a image as a PDF or something even simpler like a JPEG. I'll just store this in my temp folder and save it. It says the export is complete, so I'll jump into Windows Explorer and see if I can find this. And when I open it up, it's just a snapshot of the map that shows the graphics. So this is a quick and dirty way to add some graphics to a map and then make a JPEG image to share with other people. So there you have it. Thanks for watching and please keep Geomatics in mind for your GIS and GPS training needs. Visit us online at geomatics.com. This is Michelle Geomatics saying goodbye for now.